When we look at the night sky, we see stars, most of them relatively nearby. From dark skies, such as those viewed from this observatory in Chile, we can also see a faint band of stars. This is the Milky Way. This band of stars is evidence of a vast structure, the galaxy we live in. Our galaxy contains roughly half a trillion stars, many of which have planets orbiting them. For two decades, the Hubble Space Telescope has been providing our deepest views of deep space. Rising above the distorting effects of Earth's atmosphere, it images the sky with a clarity difficult to achieve in ground-based telescopes. When we use the Hubble Space Telescope to peer deeply into the universe, we see galaxies. Vast island universes, each one containing hundreds of billions of stars. This Hubble image, the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, is one of humanity's greatest achievements, our deepest look into space. Almost everything you see in this image is another galaxy, even the tiniest specks of light. Many of these galaxies are so distant that it has taken their light billions of years to reach us. Because of this fact, when we look out deeply into the universe, we are also peering back into the depths of time. If we turn the Hubble to observe closer galaxies, we see that galaxies come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Massive red elliptical galaxies, beautiful grand design spiral galaxies, edge-on spirals with prominent dust lanes, galaxies undergoing bursts of star formation, blue dwarf galaxies, strange irregularly shaped galaxies, even galaxies in the midst of colliding with one another. Why are there so many different shapes? And how did they get to be this way? To understand that, we need to turn to computational science. With computer simulations, we can begin to understand how these remarkable structures form. This supercomputer simulation traces the formation of a Milky Way-sized galaxy. The dominant force in play here is gravity. Every piece of matter in the universe attracts every other piece. The galaxies form through a process known as hierarchical structure formation. Small clumps join to make larger clumps. One thing that becomes clear from this simulation is that large galaxies, like the Milky Way, get to be large by eating smaller dwarf galaxies. Through careful examination of the clustering of stars in our galaxy, astronomers are beginning to uncover more and more evidence for this type of galactic cannibalism in our galaxy's past. Watching this visualization, the power of computational simulation becomes clear. Whereas observations give us snapshots of the universe, simulations give us a movie, which we can play both forward and backward in time. What about the universe on larger scales? How do galaxies cluster together? To answer these questions, we'll turn to a different telescope. This two-and-a-half-meter telescope in New Mexico was the site of a decade-long project to make a three-dimensional map of galaxies, the Sloan Digital Sky Survey. The survey consists of two parts, 
a first pass to image the sky and identify the galaxies, and a second pass to carefully study the light from these galaxies in order to determine their distance. Measuring the distance to nearly one million galaxies results in a 3D map of the structure of our universe. We see that galaxies are not randomly distributed. They group together into clusters, which are linked by filamentary shaped superclusters, spanning hundreds of millions of light years. How did these structures form? Once again, we turn to supercomputer simulations. This simulation shows how gravity pulls together matter in the early universe into a vast cosmic web of structure. This is what our universe looks like on the grandest of scales. Galaxies form along the filaments and flow into clusters where the filaments join. The giant clusters that form at these intersections contain thousands of galaxies in chaotic orbits around their centers. While they seem small in this visualization, each of these galaxies is a vast collection of hundreds of billions of stars, much like our own Milky Way. By combining telescopic observations, and supercomputer simulations, we are beginning to put together a more complete picture of the universe from its earliest stages until the present day. You want to go with that part?